Good morning, B here from the Hiking Cousins. Um, just up near uh, a place called West Kill, where my uh, good friend Woods lives. Uh, we're doing a, a couple of hour walk today, um, taking in the east coast of England, um, overlooking the North Sea. We're starting 20 minutes east of uh, Louth. Um, more details to follow, but I think it's going to be a good walk. Uh, so, not with my cousin Ollie today, but um, with my friend Woods instead. So, uh, we'll see how this walk goes. Okay, so we're at our start point, um, a place called Chapel St. Leonard's, right next to the North Sea Observatory, um, and we're going to be walking towards Sutton on Sea. Are we heading north, are we, Woods? Yep. North yep. Up the coast, yeah. North up the coast. Um, back to our end point where we parked the car. Sutton on sea. Yep, Sutton on sea. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. North Sea Observatory there. What's in there, Woods? I haven't been in there. Yeah. Um, probably some um, stuff. informative educational stuff, yeah. <laughs> All right, well. We're going to be outside, not inside today. So, Ooh, big sky. You shoot? Do you, are you? Is it? Um, are you shooting in landscape or portrait for Instagram? Oh, that's a good question. Just curious. Just curious. It would be better portrait, wouldn't it? Would it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe it would be. Got the wind farms out in the distance there. Nice little huts here. Good little start to the walk. So this is the North Observatory. Cafe here at the start point. Lots of filming going on here. Okay, so I'm told by my good mate Woods that this is a piece of art. Uh, not quite sure what it is. Any suggestions? Any? Does anyone know who did this uh, sculpture? We've come off the uh, beach because uh, it's a little bit difficult to walk on after a little while. It's uh, sinking into the sand a little bit. Obviously it's more compacted nearer to the sea, but we're just like mixing it up a little bit. Taking the path instead of walking down by the beach. And then we'll head back onto the beach a little further along. Yeah, so we're walking around by the dunes. Beaches to the right of us. to have a little cup of tea. We're gonna carry on though. Not long into the walk. Yeah. Can't hear the rolling of the tires from the motorway in the distance. Just that white noise of the sea and the birds. Sculptures cropped up again. So we're uh, in between Chapel St. Leonard's and Sutton on the Sea. What is this? Can anyone explain? 
leave in the comments, please. Well, I'm at the top of the sculpture and uh, yeah, I think it's seen better days. Needs uh, another lick of paint, I'd say. It's going down. Okay, so approximately over halfway now into the walk. Um, it's got a good mixture of uh, on the beach and off the beach trails. Um, good variety of scenery. It's very flat, obviously, in this part of the country. So you're getting a different, um, different experience, um, view-wise. Uh, be prepared for when you're walking on the beach, it can be quite tough because you're walking on sand and there is a camber as you can see so that can have an effect on how difficult it can be so it's good that it has a mixture of on and off because it could get a little bit tiresome a little bit samey So if you're up for a, a jog or a cycle uh, with a nice beach view, this is uh, this is a good option. Sandylands. Sandylands, right? Okay. In between Sandylands and Sutton on Sea. If you didn't hear that, in between Sandylands and Sutton on Sea, some nice stretches here for running and cycling for sure. Here's Sutton on Sea. Overall, I thought it was a decent walk. I'd probably say three and a half, maybe four out of ten, just because the sand got a little bit much under feet. And if you're going to do this walk, I would say do it in some high top walking boots, like my friend Woods here, so the sand doesn't get into your trainers or your walking trainers. But yeah, overall, a decent walk with some good variety. <laughs> <laughs> 